Master, your indulgence, please? We haven't spoken for some time. Are you upset with me? I'm not hard to find. If you want to talk, speak up. Tell me anything. Can I tell you it angers me to be ignored? The nobles on Alderaan treated me like I wasn't there. First because I was just a servant, then because they knew I could see through their pomp and distortions. I wanted to expose it all. Bring their political nonsense to a halt. Who cares about the petty concerns of diplomats? When it's your entire world, you can get wrapped up in it. It became a compulsion to keep track of it all. Deep down, I hated my life, but I swallowed those feelings. You've come a long way already. Now, you can let your feelings go. Yes. I'm finally living. All thanks to you. Peace here. They flushed us out. We're on the move. Lost a third of my men, but we're hitting them ten to one. Still too many. I'll try to rally the men, hold the enemy off as long as I can. Peace out. My lord, the enemy is regrouping. I'm down to three men against about 300. Hope we can take out a whole battalion, but it looks like we'll come up short. When you see him, tell Durant. spent all my ammunition and I'm down to my last med pack. But Durant's battalion is down. So is the rest of my unit. Never see men stare death in the face and fight more bravely. They did their job. Now the enemy is mine. General Durant and his guards have retreated inside the compound. Proud I ushered you to the doorstep. General Durant, I've come for you. I'm not hiding anymore, Sith. We delayed you long enough to achieve success. We've stabilized the sea and tide cells. Now, the Republic has a new power source that gives us the advantage in this war. Tell me about these sea and tide cells. Imagine a common blaster rifle with the power of a turbo laser battery. Upon returning to Terrace after the Empire bombarded it, we discovered that all the flash fire deaths created a strange residue. Once radiated and solidified, it turned into a highly volatile but powerful energy source. Trouble was, we couldn't stabilize it. Until now. Where does this leave us? It leaves me with the upper hand. This blaster is the prototype, powered by the smallest sea and tide battery. You're about to see just how lethal it is. Everyone, attack.
You will not defeat General Ferrer. You wasted your life. I will crush everything you have built. Then I die. A broken man. For the Republic. <sighs> The medevac transport. Arriving back at base. Needed to tap you. Darth Barris has made contact. I updated him. I have him and Moff Hurden on hollow for you. Hatch them through immediately. Will do. Prentice, your progress has been conveyed to me, and I've been briefed on the search for General Ferrer. Moff Hurden informs me that Ferrer has relocated all of the Republic's forces on Terrace to protect his command center at the Republic's stronghold. We have his attention, and he's worried. A frightened enemy can be the most dangerous. This assault will take all our firepower. I've summoned your crew to the base. They will all be utilized. And I've informed Moff Hurden that you are commandeering the entirety of his forces. Yes, right. They are yours to command, my lord. Nice to see you know your place, Imperial. I found the Moff to be extremely eager to accommodate. Rendezvous with Hurden, Pierce, and your crew at the Imperial base. There is much planning to do. Be swift. I am here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. Yes, my lord. It's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact, but the general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer, but there are ways around that. Stick close to the captain, lieutenant. You might learn a thing or two. Noted. Now, to maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station. Another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements. And the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. What do these strikes entail? The details will be forthcoming, Apprentice, but I do not need to hear them. Quinn will coordinate from the base, and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Goodbye. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers. In my opinion, Jaser should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jaser's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. That leaves Pierce and Vet to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Vet, clear the way so the power station can be destroyed. Child play. Unless Pierce can lock the spaceport force field in time, you'll face Ferrer's reinforcements inside the base. Don't worry about me, Captain. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, Invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? Today, we fight as one. I believe in every one of you. Join me in victory. If that doesn't inspire, nothing will. Good luck, my lord. I'll be coordinating the attacks via Hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one.
All alert. The enemy is sighted. You are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jason, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. Right away, my lord. I sense much strength and conviction in most of these men. Wait. There. An entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. Concentrate the attack on them and they will run. Keep the other forces at bay while I terrorize the conscripts. Conscripted scum! We still have numbers! All attack! They were infant toys. From her report, I doubt anyone else could have achieved it. You were right in assigning her to strike the power station. I will reward her for a job well done. When she puts her mind to it, she can be a very valuable asset. With the base security systems down, you'll endure no automatic turret fire on our way to Ferrer's command center. On the other front, Lieutenant Pierce was able to sabotage and lock the Republic Spaceport force field controls. Pierce has proven himself up to every assignment. The credit is yours for identifying his strengths. Still, the General's elite guard clogs the way to the command center. They are quite formidable. Danger only makes things more fun. Then this may be the most fun you've had yet. There's no time to lose, my lord. For us, command center awaits. Good luck. Time for you to join the rest of the War Trust, Ferrer. Quite the contrary. After you took down my fellows, I knew my only chance was to delay you. And my gambit has paid off. I bought enough time for my technicians to solve how to stabilize Seantide cells of any kind. The future is upon us, Sith, and you have the privilege of bearing witness. Sighted. Weapon systems targeted and locked. All this posturing is unnecessary. Until now, it's been the Empire that enjoyed flexing its muscles. With this new power source, it's our turn. Sea and Tide technology increases the strength of whatever it powers tenfold. The Republic fleet and arsenal will make your weapons obsolete. The Empire will have no choice but to surrender, which you should do now. How about I attack instead? 
Engaging all weapons. You are beaten, General. I can't believe it. All this work. All this death. For naught. I wish I could sit around and discuss where I went wrong. But a good leader always has an exit strategy. Not so fast, General. I thought you might try to run. I can always count on you, Quinn. I surrender. I expect to be afforded the treatment promised to prisoners in the Treaty of Coruscant. You will be treated however Darth Barris wishes. Yes, well I will gladly take the General into custody. Congratulations on the success of your mission. Taking down the War Trust is an incredible victory. The War Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master, Darth Vengeance, set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. The plan was secret. Do you think there's a leak? Information is a funny thing. It trickles in unexpected ways. Leave those concerns to me. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moff Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. My lord, drop my things in the crew bunks. Good ship. Quinn's already briefed me. I'm handling demolitions and heavy firepower support. Didn't know the captain ran things around here. I'd rather take my orders direct. Quinn handles the details, but you answer to me. Fine with me. Just keep Captain Protocol off my back. Moff heard it was all about regulations too. War Trust did a lot more damage than they should have. Hurden didn't think a soldier could strategize. Proved him wrong. Hurden was a fool to ignore your natural talents. Doesn't matter much now. I'm here, and Hurden's stuck on Taris. Give me the freedom he didn't, and you'll see results. You won't act independently. You follow my orders. Of course. Just hope you're flexible on the how.
Darth Barriss sent me. I've liberated your ship. Where is Admiral Monk? Well, well. Come to inspect the scene of the crime, eh? Admiral Monk and his top men jettisoned down to Quesh. I'm so sorry you missed him. Are you here to deliver his reward? Offer congratulations? What are you talking about? This was a secret attack, yet I come out of hyperdrive to find the Republic's most decorated admiral laying in wait. Admiral Monk had my force field and docking codes. This stinks of a setup. I suggest you clean house and find the rat. This was no Imperial leak! Your master's master is Darth Venger. Barris manipulated him into this attack in order to ruin him. I've had a belly full of Sith infighting, always undermining Imperial operations. It's why we have yet to crush the Republic outright! Accept it. You are merely the toys we play with. I'm not taking it anymore! You will pay for your master's manipulations! Men, kill the Sith! Darth Vengeance will reward us! 